Hi guys, this is Michelle at My Everyday Wife Life. Welcome back to my channel. And today I have 10 tasks for a fresh start to your week with the Sunday Home Reset and Refresh. And I have a free printable for you. Okay, this morning, hubby and I were hanging out in my craft room. I actually set up a little space for him in my craft room for him to do his hobbies. And I was making my to-do list and doing a little self-care, but I need to refill my water. Okay, I don't usually do any food prep on Sunday. Actually, I kind of don't really do food prep. I don't know, I do it as I go along. So I needed some lemon and limes for my water, so I just cut up a few extra so that I can use it the next time. I don't cut up all of them for the whole rest of the week. I just prep as I go. So I have some more in the fridge for later. Okay, before I get my day started doing the Sunday Home Reset and Refresh, I am going to make Hubby and I some frittata, and we're going to hang out in the craft room for just a little bit, and I will be doing my planners. Here is another example of food prep as I go. So I was cutting up some peppers for the frittata and I just cut up a couple extra and stuck it in the mason jar and put it back in the fridge, but it didn't cut up all of them. So there's that. Okay, the other thing I do is cook once, eat twice, and sometimes three times. And it's not something I've always done. It's a habit I started doing since, um, you know, the thing, COVID. <laughs> and as I'm cooking, I'm thinking of things that I need for my grocery list. So number one is to make a grocery list. Okay, while the frittata is cooking, I'm going to clean up the kitchen and that is part of my daily chores. So I'm gonna get started on my daily chores. For my daily chores, I do um, make the bed, touch up the bathroom, laundry, dishes and counters, and straighten up the whole house. So throughout this video, I will be showing you the daily chores, but I'm counting it as one. So that is step number two in the Sunday Home Refresh is to do your daily chores. Okay, the frittata is done, but I wanna finish up the kitchen first before I eat. I always used to tell my son, you may not eat until thy work is done. <laughs> Okay, on Sundays when I'm cleaning the kitchen, I um, clean the sink really good and I clean out the sponge dish and the scrubber dish and clean it out and put new soap in there because, you know, when you put your sponge back, it gets all yucky in there So throughout the week. So I'm also replacing it with a new sponge and I need to write that on my list because it looks like I'm short on sponges and putting all of the things away. This is where I keep my um, cleaners that I am currently using and I have more cleaning stuff in the laundry room for backup. Okay, so after breakfast, I will just start the dishwasher. So I already have soap in there and I'm writing some things down on my grocery list still here. Okay, part of the daily chores is to do one load of wash. That is another habit that I started doing in March. So I am looking around and I need to clean up the laundry room. So part of the daily chores is to straighten up the house. So I'll be doing that throughout the day. Okay, I'll clean that up later. Right now I want to go ahead and eat my frittata. I'm having a little avocado with it with some bagel seasoning and as i'm passing by the dining room i'm seeing what needs done in there and the bed needs done and hubby is in here hanging out with me and right now number three on my 
task list is to do my planners and I'm printing out my habit tracker and I'm also printing out the to-do list on my Sunday home refresh and I'll be showing you that in a bit here. Okay, this is the free printable that I made for myself and I'm going to share it with you guys. The link is down in the description. So I don't necessarily do all these things in order. I just go through the house and see what needs to be done and then I chuck things off as I go. And by the end of this video, this is the first time I've used this. It worked out really well. It kept me on track and yeah, stayed on task. And I printed out the Healthy Habits Tracker that will be listed down below along with a bunch of other printables that you could print out for yourself. So um, this is we're going on week three of the Healthy Habits Challenge. Um, I will be doing a video on Tuesday. And this is my food journal, so I was filling that out. Okay, this is my one and done zone cleaning planner. So I'm just looking it over to see what needs to be done this week. So last week, I only cleaned two days. I did daily chores, weekly chores, and do any extras on that one day. But on in zone one, I did decluttering my master bedroom closet. If you haven't seen that, check that out below. It's two episodes. And this is week three. So I'm doing Sunday home refresh and then zone two, zone three, and then zone one again. So I have three days of cleaning, actually four if you count Sunday. So there you go. But I'm just doing a refresh today, not deep cleaning, just doing touch up. Okay, now I am working on my YouTube planner to figure out what videos I'm going to do this week. That was last week and doing Sunday home refresh and a couple other things. Tuesday is the Healthy Habits Challenge video and the shopping haul. And I want to redo the guest room to make it like a yoga stretching room. And I was supposed to do that this week. That didn't happen. So that's the plans for that. And then the following week, again, another Healthy Habits on Tuesday, I'm doing an anti-procrastination video with Karen at This Mainer Mom. So stay tuned for that. And I'm not sure what else I have planned. And here's my budget planner. And yeah, <laughs> I don't know what to say about that. I don't really feel like doing it, but I'm going to show you just an overview. Actually, have not been keeping up with it too much, but we keep the same budget every month. And this budget planner is from The Clever Fox. But next time I buy one, I'm going to buy the budget book. The link will be down below for both of these. I keep the same budget every month. It's the same thing. And what I do is I save first and my budget second. So let's say hubby makes $5,000 a month, ballpark figure. So I save $1,000 a month and then the budget is made from the rest of the $4,000. So I cannot spend more than $4,000. When the money's gone, the money's gone. I can't dip into savings and all that stuff. So. Okay, I'm just showing you my daily chores list, which is in my zone cleaning planner. So I don't always do all five chores, but I have the list so I can keep trying to make sure I do those every day. So I'm going to move on to making the bed. And since making the list and making my zone cleaning, I have been more diligent. Again, I have not done everything on the list every day, but um, it's a work in progress. The thing I do on Sundays is catch up on things that I didn't get done during the week. Again, I am not doing deep cleaning or anything like that. But the next thing on the list is to um, touch up the bathroom. So I'm going to do that. And apparently I'm putting away a shirt here. So there's that. Okay, before I clean the bathroom, I am straightening up my cart and this is my cleaning cart. And I got it from Target and I like it. I It really works. I just move it from room to room and I have all the essentials that I need in there. And now I am touching up the bathroom, part of the daily chores.
just straightening up the shower here. I'm not cleaning the shower, but this is left over from the last time I cleaned the shower and I didn't put it away. So it's getting done today. So I like to clean the shower while I'm taking a shower. If you do that too, let me know in the comments below. I'm curious to know. Okay, again, straightening the whole house is part of the daily chores and I need to straighten this up. This is all the things that I decluttered from my master bedroom closet. So I'm putting them in the box so they'll be ready to go to the Goodwill on Monday, hopefully. And I need to straighten up the entryway. These are Amazon boxes that need to be taken care of and I think they're all empty except for one. So I'm cleaning all that up. Okay, and now I'm getting to straighten up the laundry room. I just need to do something with all this stuff on the counter and I'm done. I'm not gonna clean the, the laundry room. I'm just straightening up real quick. Okay, that brings us to the kitchen. So take out the garbage and finish cleaning up the kitchen. Okay, putting my apron on so I can get busy here. And number four on my list is clean my purse. So I'm going to do that. I don't do that every Sunday, but I'm gonna start doing that now. So here we go. I need to find a place for that CBD oil. Actually, that doesn't really work for me. I don't even know why I'm gonna keep it. But apparently I am, and I'm gonna put it in my bedside table and then decide what to keep in my purse and what not. And these are the things that I'm going to keep in my purse. This little thing, I'll put a link down below. I got it off of Amazon. It's, you know, to get those little hairs that just appear on your chin. So there you go. And I have nail clippers in this little case that I got when we were on a trip to Utah and snacks. And a lot of you have been asking where I got my purse. I actually got it from Kohl's. It's called a, I believe it's Violet Ray purse. And I absolutely love it. In fact, I probably should get rid of some of my other purses, but I'm not quite ready. It's perfect. I just, I, it's the only purse I've been using lately and I haven't been switching it out. It has tons of pockets and it's like a soft, um, suede and it's very well made and i i just absolutely love it unfortunately they don't have that anymore but they do have the one that is green similar to that on kohl's and i'll put the link down below and there's the cbd oil putting put away and cleaning up callie's stuff oh my gosh I have bought so many things off of Amazon to try to get that cat to eat. She just won't eat. I tried these calming things because she just seems very anxious. And I gave her some probiotics, but she won't always eat them. She's super picky. She did not like these fish things. And then there's some joint support things. And yeah. And now I'm going to refill my pill containers. And um, I need to do that every Sunday. And fill the vitamins too. Okay, now I'm cleaning up the kitchen once again. How many times do you can clean your kitchen in a day? Let me know in the comments below. So this is cleaning up after breakfast and then finishing up, I'm going to put the dishes away and do all the things. And as I am washing my iron skillet, I am reminded that I need to re-season this pan that is going on my procrastination list that I will be doing the next 10 days and have a video for you. I believe it's on the 26th. 
Okay, number five on the Sunday home refresh list is clean the fridge or straighten the fridge. Really, you don't need to clean it every week. I do it about once a month and I'm just going to straighten it up, but I'm also, while I'm doing that, I am taking inventory of what we need for the grocery list. So these are all the things that I'm throwing away. That was gluten-free pizza dough that didn't work out. And I need some almond milk and I'm gonna get rid of this juice. I'm not gonna drink that. So yeah, it's been in there for weeks. Putting the ketchup back where it belongs. Okay, adding to my grocery list here. And I probably will be doing groceries on Monday. I'm not going to the store today. So this is for tomorrow. Okay, I just have to wipe the stove and the counters and I think I am done with the kitchen. Okay guys, I'm having a really hard time finding 7th generation cleaner, so I picked this up at Publix. I don't know how it rates because it didn't come up on the Think Dirty app, but you know what? I didn't really have much of a choice. Lately, the cleaning products are very scarce. 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 <laughs> okay, I am checking the laundry and putting the cleaning cart away. And number 6 on my list is clean the pantry or organize the pantry or take inventory that's what I'm doing it doesn't need cleaned out it's all straight and to be honest with you my my pantry stays straight and pretty good I have minimal stuff in here it looks like I need gluten-free pasta some spaghetti sauce hmm what else do I need looks like I need some taco shells for a hubby but I think I am good on my favorite late july chips and um maybe some cereal i'm gonna ask hubby if he needs some more cereal Okay, number seven on my list is meal plan. You guys, I don't really meal plan. I tried that and it doesn't really work for me. It is just the two of us. So my plan meal planning is really based on meat. So I'm making sure I have enough meat for the week. If I have, I like to buy mostly chicken. Hubby likes to have steaks. He likes to have ribs and then some hamburger for a tacos Tuesday or hamburger and sausage for spaghetti. So I'm making sure I have enough of that to last us for the week and maybe stock up a little bit on extras. Okay, and now it is time to fold that load of wash. I think it is done drying. So let's do that. Okay, so laundry is part of my daily chores, so I'm going to do that. And I also want to point out that I do not do my Sunday home refresh checklist, which I just started this week. I don't do that all at one time. So it's done throughout the day. Sometimes there are some days where I'll knock it all out in like two hours, but today it was done throughout the day. It started early in the morning and ended up finishing up late in the evening. Just a little bit 
here and there while hanging out with hubby in my craft room throughout the day and that kind of thing and i'm just showing you a little update to my closet i made a few changes moved the shelf up and down to my um, master bedroom closet if you haven't seen that video again i will put the link down below and i'm putting away my handy dandy flip folder if you're interested the link is down below Okay, back to my craft room to finish checking off the things on my Sunday home refresh. Let's see. I did half the daily chores and I cleaned the pantry, did the fridge, did the grocery list, did my meal planning. Okay, I just have a few more things before I can be done and call it a day. Okay, I hung out with hubby for a little bit, so this is a little bit later and it is dinner time. So time to put my apron back on and make dinner. Hubby wanted steak. I'm just gonna have leftover spaghetti. So I'm making him steak, two steaks, so he can have one tomorrow for lunch. That's cook once, eat twice. I so love doing that. Okay, number eight is to do paperwork. Uh, Y'all know I don't like doing paperwork, so I'm going to do something that I do not recommend. I'm going to hide the paperwork in this box. I just need to clean up this desk. I will get to it eventually. And you know what? Cass from Clutterbug says I can do that, so I'm doing that. She said to just macro-organize, put your 2020 stuff in a box, and then deal with it at tax time. <laughs> She said that for real. I'm not kidding. So I'm just straightening up some more and putting things back where they belong. Okay, again, part of the daily chores is to straighten up. So I am going to straighten up the family room. Okay, a super important thing I try to do, remember to do every day is to put my massager on a charger. You guys, I will put the link down below. If you suffer from chronic pain, I've mentioned this device, <laughs> this massager before. It is a lifesaver, so I promise you, you will thank me later if you buy it. It is really helpful. Okay, number nine would be to vacuum. Now, that doesn't mean vacuum the whole house. I actually vacuumed yesterday, I believe, so I'm just gonna do a little touch up because the kitchen always needs to be vacuumed. And I'm just gonna do a quick vacuum in the family room area. And then number nine is to mop. Okay, number 10 is to do some mopping and I'm just going to spot mop the kitchen and the family room right around the couch area because tomorrow is my zone cleaning and I will be doing the um, whole house mopping on that day. Okay, so I am done. The only thing that I didn't do was to do my budget planner. So I think that's pretty good. I might do my budget planner tomorrow when I take my planners to the park and plan there or I don't know it'll get done eventually until next time guys enjoy your day
And don't forget, the link is down below for the free printable so you can print that out and follow along next time I do a Sunday Home Refresh.